Hi, welcome back to the Unpital Privacy and Security in Online Social Media Assignment 7. So, the last day to submit the assignment is March 13th. Let's see the questions one by one. According to the study discussed in the lecture, which of the following users were most likely to reciprocate links from spammers? Users less than 100 followers. According to the study discussed in the lecture, which of the following users engage themselves in link forming? People talking about business, internet, marketing, money, etc. People promoting their own business or content equally distributed among random samples of users all across Twitter. So, none of the above is the correct answer. In the above image, Gmail is an example of ideas proposed by Facemail from MIT. This is true. Observe the image which is uh, uh, answer the following question. Which of the nudge, following nudge has been shown in the picture above? Sentiment nudge. Select the utility of the above type of nudge, making sure your posts are not perceived as a negative by others. As discussed in the lecture, which of the following is not a social media nudge, voice nudge and video nudge? Which of the following statements are correct about nudges? All of the above. Hemant wanted to steal data from a rival business by going to the office and transferring the required files by connecting your flash drive to the target computer. This attack is known as physical attack. So denial of services uh, access and a buffer overflow attacks fall under none of the above. And Shivani, in order to steal login credentials from Anisha, sends an email to her with subject to check your unpital certification exam results here, which directs Anisha towards a login from which the web domain not associated with unpital, this is known as dash, semantic attack. Himesh, a college student, gets a malicious SMS from an unidentified source saying your bank account has been suspended. Click here to reactivate your account. This type of uh, most uh, closely resembles SMS smishing. smishing. And consider the following code snippet. Here we are having some code and uh, and NLTK download NLTK tokenized words. Here we are uh, going to tokenize the word. And so the option is two. So welcome to uh, splitting all these words. Consider the following list of words generating using NLTK. So apple and orange are the non-stop words. We consider this as a translate. Here we are having some coding uh, snippet. This is regarding a string translation and uh, to map all null characters to punctuations in the token list. Which of the following code, uh, code snippets are used to count the number of words? So here we are having a from collections import counter. So this is the right option. I'm thinking so. Otherwise, none of the above will be the correct answer. So anyways, I'll let you know before the submission of the assignment. Now you can submit your answers. And once you have submitted your answers, you can see that assessment is submitted. If any updates are there regarding the answers, I will uh, comment in the comment box. So before submission, watch once, okay, before the deadline and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.